In this video, I'm going to talk about what I have learned, my experience, my opinion. It doesn't make it true. It doesn't make it right. About a whole month challenge of eating raw vegan, and I'm going to share with you the secret. Not only one secret, not only two secret, but a lot of secret. And what no one tell you about going raw vegan. Of what happened actually? What really really happened when you start doing changing your diet into a raw vegan diet? Okay. But before that, do you know that Beyonce's uh, Chad Leto and Mike Tyson they are all part of vegan lifestyle, not necessarily raw vegan but sure a vegan lifestyle but the thing is giving up meat fish and dairy is good for you mm, it's you to tell you got to be experienced that in order to say i can't tell it for you but sure i can share with you my experience after doing it a whole month with my baby one year old baby so far a month ago from our uh, exact day 23rd of April, we actually, we, I mean me and my one year old baby, she's sleeping at the moment. <laughs> we actually set out on a month long challenge to eliminate all animal products from our diet, eliminate all the cookings from our diet. Sure, the only thing that I stay put with is honey because it's actually good for you. It's really, really, really good. And from my definition, honey is, is from the flower. The bee only add them and pull it out. So it's not like they actually produce the honey anyway. Sorry, I got to change the background. And we got two little dogs outside. Not little. They're quite big. But they're like two years old. Okay. So let me continue. Okay, so I just want to simply share my experience and ease your mind if you might be a few weeks into your journey and been wondering about the physical change that you experienced. So this is the model of all this crime, okay? Um, only because there is nothing as precious as your body, your health, your mind. And if any uncomfortable symptom have you concerned or lasting too long or not subsidizing all the please please or your body please consult with your patient's doctor. You can also find a directory of doctor and dietitians who have experiences with patients who follow this diet in your local area or just do a Google search. The second one is not too hard actually. <laughs> so yeah, I might conflict myself between saying okay it's hard and it's not too hard. If you prepare already and you know already and you already have certain results for yourself and your mind already well established before and your understanding, your knowledge of raw vegan in the right place, then it's not hard at all. So I can honestly say, yes, you totally can because I've done it for a month and sure, there's a roadblock, there's difficulty, but food can be so bland and why I miss some of disgusting items. <laughs> I didn't miss as much as I expected. And more importantly, what I'm putting in my body and my belly is very enlightening throughout the process. I, yes, I had to think harder about what I'm eating and where it is coming from. And eventually, if the, the habit start forming, then it's become easier. Uh, the third one is I got to tell you, don't do it all as one. I mean, if you're serious about veganism sticking, then I don't know, don't do it. You need time to learn new recipe, stack out the best vegan 
uh, restaurant option um, you can spread the word so your friend won't tempt you with pork burrito for example and allow for the occasional indulgence yourself all the better if it's a local organic and human one fourth i would have to say that vegan do not necessarily mean healthy okay raw vegan what i'm doing is a bit different compared to just poorly vegan because if poorly vegan you you had a cooking process with you got fry you got fat fried chicken oreo straight up shot coconut oil uh yes yeah, Okay. Uh, so if you're looking to eliminate saturated fat or processed food, a uh, veganism isn't a foolproof, but raw veganism. And yes, we all need a treat now and then, especially on the day we feel low and down. You can buy a lot of raw cake, indulgent cake, they are so nice. One of the days in my challenge, I met two birthday cake for my baby and they are delicious the restaurant uh, the raw vegan restaurant that we went to they make a beautiful test the most tasteful cake ever that i ever tasted so it's very nice those are some kind of an indulgence that i'm really really pleased and happy with uh, the fifth lesson that i learned is that the food can be very delicious and as i have already appreciated all the good raw stuff that stay fresh and clean i experience a new form of laughing and walk mode new way so being forced to seek out new recipe is create a magical favorite part of this challenge that I'm doing. Without it, I'm sure I'll find out new exciting recipe. Okay. Um, the six lessons I've been learning is that you don't need to cook. Yes, you don't need to cook at all. But then on the verse, all the smell of cooked food is from mysteries. It's really tempting sometimes throughout the last 30 days plus you might get a little demanding easier and better to cook at home to prepare food at home and most of the time if you go compare a host dinner party yourself the seven lesson I learned is that don't expect any miracle I didn't expect any miracle luckily <laughs> so it's good but maybe perhaps you need more than a month to fully reap the purposefully benefit of the raw vegan diet because physically like for example amazing skin and energy level etc i haven't significantly experienced or noticed improvement in any of the physical but mentally for sure i i have much more clarity more focus feel more positive every day um sleeping much better as well my body know which i like i'm looking at the food and my body will like consciously know this is good i want it for my body this is not i might attempt to have a test but no it's like bad for my body and i really don't want any thing inside me but I can have it once a while to like indulge in myself <laughs> kind of thing so I didn't really strictly go through the whole 30 days I actually had because we did have a funeral a party so in the end it turned out just as I expected for now I'm not going to be a raw vegan but I'd be more vegan than I was before for sure and the problems of going all or nothing thinking is that especially in a country where 98% of people are not vegan or 98% of the family not vegan is that is that you got to demand all the vegan all the time and you probably just get nothing okay so how keep it to meat if you want but make it a commit uh, 
whatever you're doing, try to do a little bit better. Who knows where it will lead you? Okay, so the way we smell can sometimes also change as well. I noticed that because those the day that I'm experimenting with raw vegans wasn't the hot day. But I remember on the day that I do a lot of activity with my baby, I noticed my body doesn't have that much odor compared to before. But again, the opposite can also happen to you. You may also notice a time like glowing your skin, especially if you're eating a lot of what you call um, beta carotene rich food like carrot and sweet potato oh my favorite and i remember i'm getting serious craving for things like shiitake mushroom and no i didn't have brussels sprouts <laughs> but yeah there's a few food that i crave for which i didn't before the clearer focus on concentration that for sure i had a feeling of blindness and a boost in creativity and new ideas. More on like positive mindset when making things change and the empowerment that's come with it. You also get a better performance in physical activity and in general more stamina and endurance or happiness due to the fact that you're making such a positive change for yourself and the animal and the planet I'm sure having that all throughout the 30 days you get greater awareness about the impact that we actually create um, for our health and all of the effects for our mental well-being so this is one of the aspects of going raw vegan that I like to, I like to refer to as neutral side effect. Since there are so many cultural effects as to what your body should and shouldn't look like. And then some of the people are also meant to be um, the same size body. Some of us are meant to be a, a small size, smaller size, and some of us are meant to be a larger size body so those are a bit vary depend on different kind of body different type of culture that you live in type of food that you eat and some people experience weight loss upon going vegan but this isn't necessarily the case for mostly everyone remember so many things can affect your weight affecting your old genetic your metabolism the food that you eat, your activity daily, a lot of things that will affect your weight, not just changing your diet. 